everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, we're on the ZX Spectrum. We're going to be looking at a game I've been meaning to look at for quite some time. It's Nifty Lifty, published by Vision Software Factory in 1984, and it was written by Kevin J. Besant. Also come out on the BBC Micro. Literally, there's just two keys left and right, but you must traverse, um, well, I say maze, going up collecting items, but avoiding the killer lift in the middle. No, it's uh, much more difficult than it um, sounds. So here we go, I'm this guy here and he moves very very fast, although you can adjust the speed. There we go, so on the third level we automatically go up. All we need to do on this first one is avoid that blue um, lift going up and down. So he's nifty and he's, he's, he's lifty. Hooray! Oh, don't mess up Nick. So that's stage one done, it's straight on to the second stage. Um, so it's not hanging about this game, and as you can see, it's already getting a little bit more difficult. Now we, now, as usual, if you had this one back in the day, let me know. Okay, now, a subscriber to the channel has already done a upgraded version of this on the PC very recently, so potentially we might look at that at some point as well. But this is the original in 1984. Go, 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 the original on the Spectrum, I should say. Come on, Nick. Now, your lives are in the top uh, right there. We've got, well, just two left. It's an interesting guy going backward and forward. So, you pretty much know what to do, don't you? It's a basic game from the 80s, getting gradually more difficult. So, there's two lifts here going up and down super fast. You can adjust the speed if you want um, um, a slower way around, but it doesn't seem to slow down the lifts at all. So, um, there. I think it does slow the lifts down, but it's in in tune to your character. See, your lifts go slow and your character goes slow, so it's not really a great deal of difference. But we'll have a look at that. Let's just see how far I can get. Now, these reviews aren't always about expert gameplay. Uh, they're about what your first or second go would have been like, and would there have been enough there for you to want to have gone back as a kid, or would you have been disappointed if you bought it with your pocket money or got it as a present? It is quite basic, but I, I would have played it quite a bit, I think. Yes, good stuff. It's got that quick pick up and play about the thing that makes it very, very addictive. So I'm just trying to make out these objects that we're looking at. There's Pac-Man, there's a Dalek there, a tank, a helicopter. It's, it's, it's lots of kids' toys here, really, that's nifty lifty, which I'm not sure if he's some sort of thief or not, is trying to get. So you might want to try and learn the patterns of these lifts, or you might like to do um, a Horace and the uh, Horace goes skiing sort of thing, where you just try and run across at random to try and avoid the traffic. Oh, it's game over, and I do like that font as well. So it's a very good game, Nifty Lifty. Very good game. One I didn't own back in the day, but you might have done. Not quite sure how it plays on the BBC Micro. If you had that on that system at the time, let me know. Is it similar? Which I presume it is. Music playing is the entertainer, which is used in so, so many games. Do 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 be do do. Dozens probably. Right, let's pick up that bowling ball. It looks like these uh, these objects are pretty much random, doesn't it? Oh, Nicky. There's, this is the easiest level, and I smashed into that thing in my haste to try and get to the next stage. So, very addictive. You want to get as far as you possibly can. Well, that's pretty much as obvious. Magenta level now. Right, single lift, but going super first. The next go, I think we'll try and see if we can slow it down to, um, to uh, see if it makes the game any easier. Logically, it should do. Oh, the merest pixels and you're doomed. You're doomed, man. Boing. Right, now I don't want to be playing this for half an hour, because that might be a bit tough for someone to look at a gameplay review for half an hour. If we can keep it to around about 10, 12 minutes, then I'll, I'll be happy. But uh, I've got to keep half an hour on the time, because I could easily, so easily be playing it for ages. Right, two lifts going up and down. Boing. Do like the sounds of this as well on the footsteps. Yeah, this this looks fairly fairly easy, this one. They both seem to be in line with each other, those two lifts. There's an arrow in the middle, which you've probably seen. It tells you if it's going up or down, but you can probably tell that straight away without an arrow. Boing. Right, off we go. Level four in the top left. So it tells you what level you're on. Uh, no gear. Left, right, left, right. What's the... Ooh, that was close. That was close. We just had pixels to spare there. What's the highest level that you've got to? Hopefully, if you've never seen this before, it's giving you a bit of an idea whether you want to track it down, whether you've got a real set of spectrum or just emulation. I would say this one is uh, worth tracking down. I can't quite think what games are similar uh, to this, so it is unique in that respect. And uh, as I say, uh, a member uh, has uh, done a really cool remake of that as well. Hooray! 
Do 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 Right, okay, level five. Now it's getting a bit it's getting a bit um Oh look, something's come up right from the at the bottom there. So the the first stage is yeah, see that's tricky. You get off the first level, ground floor, it's gonna get a little bit easier. Done it, so that's a bit lucky right now. In theory it should be a bit easier, but we've only got one life left here. Oh man, it's gonna have to Yeah, I have to take a risk. There's that gonna be game over? It's game over, boy. Game over. Right, so the high speed is zero once I put my initials in. Let's try and put it on nine to slow the thing down a bit. Now, if you're watching these videos live as they go up, there will be uh, another one up uh, later on today. KJ Besant wrote this game. Good. There we go. Up, up and away. Pac-Man's got, there's a sailing boat there, don't know what that is, a pineapple holder, what was that? A little toy tank, a bell, ooh, ring my bell, some maze, an umbrella, looks like there's some ballerina doll or someone in ball and ground, a, ground, a bowling ball, that's good to uh, lift, and a toy tractor. Right, off we go again. You, you can shout out the toys yourself here. There might be three golden rings on this. Three gold rings. I'm available for choirs, but I've got chucked out of a few of them. Right, magenta, let's go. The lives are all intact. Four lives left. It's going a little bit slower, isn't it, than before, but not a great deal. Yeah, it's going, it's going a lot slower, but it's still, still heading at a bit of a speed. So it's impressive on the 48k spectrum, this ludicrously fast on the speed it defaults to zero but this is nine and we're there so um you know it gives you a bit of chance i suppose for your reactions pick that up cherries as in pac-man don't showboat nick you can do this you've got this have you got this maybe no color class when you go past the middle lift although they do they do seem to disappear a little bit, the graphics, momentarily, until the lifts go back over the line. I'll let that go. That's the charm of the spectrum. Oh, no. It's doing so well, then. Right, we need to get that Dalek. Exterminate. Yes, exterminate, Dalek. Yeah, close. Right, what are we on? Level four. Keep high for eye on it. So what did we get to before? Level five on the quickest speed. Key. Ballerina woman. I don't know what this thing is up here. Um, I don't know. It's gone anyway. It looks like it has a punctured beanbag. As we got duffed by the lift again. I don't think you can do this game in real life. I.e. in multiple floors with a lift going up and down that could crush you. And you running back and down the toy store collecting stuff. So you just got to get across here. And then we're on to stage five. Up, up and away. Right, I think this is as far as we got before, isn't it really? Right, got past that, that uh, bottom bit, which was the trickiest thing last time. Yes, now, this is going well. Get that flower, get that Dalako. Don't want to get exterminated, and that was that was darn close, that was. Cool. I don't know how many levels this game's got, but you can imagine it's getting pretty hectic. Pretty hectic the further we get down. And we're only on level five. I don't know if there, maybe there's like three lifts at some point, and maybe like a hundred lifts. But you'd have to have pretty good skills to stay on that ledge in the middle between them both, which you might have to do at some point. Oh, Nicky, that was... I knew there was an error there, but I just couldn't get out of the way quick enough. Man. He's there. Right, one thing left to get. It's a magenta train. He's there. Stage six awaits. Right, there's three lifts this time. So getting progressively trickier, so there must be more lifts the further you go. Uh, Vision Software Factory, this if you're looking to track this down, 1984. So quite a while ago, but uh, right in the heart of retro gaming. My favourite part of the ZX Spectrum gaming was probably 82 to 85. That's when, in my opinion, the best stuff happened. Well, the most nostalgic stuff happened because I was the right age. So, you know, retro gaming and your memories are all connected really to you being a kid, to be honest. What you think is a good game and a bad game, you know. It's all about the memories. It's all about the memories. I love, I love that sound when you die in the game. 
Ah, oh, it's I don't know quite how they did that. So um, yes, uses a bit of the spectrum I didn't know how to access. I just need knew about the beep, beep four comma one, beep, and that sort of stuff. That's about as advanced as I got. Level six, so you know you can get a bit further with the slower speed as we hit level seven. Yeah, so still three lifts, but there's a double double thing on one of them. Getting pretty chaotic now. Lives won. Across we go. Can we get off this to level eight? It's going to be a bit, a bit in the balance, isn't it, really? After this, we'll have one last go, I think, on the quickest speed again. See if I can get here again. But, I, you know, it's best to start off slow and warm yourself up. You nifty lifty tacticers. Oh, look at that. I was past. Look, it got me by the narrowest of hairs, and it's game over again. Wowzers. Yeah, really good game. This feels really nice to play. I think it's aged well, but if you couldn't get a kid interested in it now, I suppose, if they didn't know anything about the ZX Spectrum or 8 bit gaming and they just come up playing Fortnite, I mean, I would be the same if I was that age as well. So back to super speed, and it looks marvellously fast now, doesn't it? Looks looks maybe too fast, but this is the real speed that this thing is playing. This is the real speed. It hasn't been sped up. It hasn't, we haven't done a Benny Hill on it. Boing. Right. How did they make it go in this quick? I do not know. Enough of that. It's moving super Benny Hill super fast. It's gone up to ludicrous speed. Ludicrous speed. Not just not just super hyperspace, ludicrous. Right, I'm losing a few lives now with that mucking about the Benny Hill music. Come on, lad. Keep on running. That's another song. Right, off we go. Level three. Boof. Boof. Click that darling. Click the heart. We're collecting stuff. We're kleptomaniacs here. I said this level was easier before, didn't I? How wrong can I be when it's super fast? Wee. Ooh. Now this is yeah. I made, I made short work of that. It's a bit more exciting when it's this speed, isn't it? Really. Actually, I prefer I prefer it on the default speed. This speed, although it's more difficult, it does seem a bit more. This a bit more fun. Oh, it's taken it's taken my my heel out, my Achilles heel, which I've got free of. It seems sometimes with my gameplay. Oh, headbutt. Headbutt is it? One life left. How long can we make this one last? Got across there, so three stages left. Oh, and now that's that's the the ultimate super duper wrong timing. So that was Nifty Lifty on the ZX Spectrum. Hope you liked having a look at that on by Vision Software Factory in 1984 and written by Kevin and Jay Besant. It's a really good game. Um, I'm not sure if he converted it from the BBC Micro originally, but either way, he's done a fantastic job, and I would recommend tracking this one down. So if you've got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, then please put that below. Always love reading your comments. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.